Hey, what's up you beautiful feckers, how you all doing? Now, with the focus changes brought into Warframe in update 22, it's going to take us a lot more focus points in order to max out each of our focus nodes and of course the focus schools as well, especially if you want to unlock one of those waybound passives. So getting your daily cap of focus as quickly as possible is something you may want to do or get large chunks of it as easily as possible it might be something you're interested in. So forget about passively gaining focus now like we used to and hitting your daily cap because it's probably something that's not going to happen unless you get lucky with maybe a sorty exterminate or something like that now you're going to need to actively farm focus points which isn't too hard if you run the right missions and have the right setups so like I said, sorties can get you a really nice huge amount of focus in a very short period of time. But outside of sorties, there is one setup and one mission that a lot of veterans have been using since way back when focus was first added into Warframe. And it's not a new mission and it's not a new setup, so you may already be using this, which if you are, awesome, good on you. It is a Grenier Exterminate mission called Adaro on Sedna. Now, you may have seen me running this mission on my stream to get my daily cap of focus recently and getting upwards of about 90,000 focus per run if I did it right and don't alert any of the enemies, basically if I didn't fuck it up. Now with Adaro, you need to run this mission as a stealth exterminator and keep your stealth multiplier up constantly at that 500% by not alerting enemies, as well as using the focus convergence balls that spawn in for their six times multiplier, and this will get you a very large amount of focus. So the focus convergence balls are the yellow glowing balls that spawn in every so often in your mission and the buff will last you 45 seconds. That's when you will have that six times multiplier. Now it is a stealth exterminate so you're going to want a stealth based frame or a frame that can keep enemies unalerted. Now my complete setup that I use for farming focus is a spider equinox which is a rest and rage equinox with a greater lens not one of the new Eidolon lenses and I use this equinox to sleep enemies and put them into that unalerted state and then when you kill them the sleep will spread to any unaffected enemies that are nearby as well to keep those unalerted also. I run with my autos prime with prime reach just to basically hit as many enemies as I can. It also has a greater lens equipped and I set my focus school to the Narrowman so that you can make use of its new affinity spike passive which is 45% affinity gained from melee kills. I try my best to keep my stealth multiplier active up at 500% by not alerting enemies, although some enemies like bombards, you may need to do a stealth finishing move on those because sometimes just a sliding attack won't actually kill them and make them alerted. Also, whenever a focus convergence ball spawns into a different room, I will run straight for it and kill as many enemies as humanly possible. I will ignore some sleeped enemies and run to a different room to get that convergence ball and then run back. Basically, you want to maximize the amount of focus you're going to get so you need rooms that have a large amount of enemies in them once you get that convergence buff. So I've had times where I've gotten 30,000 or 40,000 focus just from that one convergence ball during that 45 second buff which is absolutely insane. Now you can use Ivara or Loki or like I said anything that can help you keep these enemies unalerted while you kill them and in three quick stealth exterminate your maximum daily standing will be used up. You should have no more standing available. I just wish that the daily cap that we could get was a little bit higher because some of these focus nodes need an insane amount of focus to actually max them out. In fact, it's eventually going to cost you 1 million focus points in order to unlock one of those waybound nodes to use them on a different focus school. It's also going to cost you a brilliant shard, which yesterday's video should have shown you how easy it is to get a brilliant shard by capturing the Terrorist Eidolon as well. But maybe you don't run stealth exterminate missions to maximize your focus gain. Maybe you run a different mission. So let me know how do you farm focus? What's your go to mission and your go to setup? Let me know in the comments section below this video do me a huge favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't subscribe for more warframe and as always thanks very much for watching